So I have a question. Is vaping actually better than smoking? Let's chat about that today. 480,000 people die each year related to smoking. So we know that's toxic, but how many years did it actually take to recognize that smoking actually kills people? Well, 50 years. And vaping has only been around since 2003, and there is no long-term studies, and that is the problem. You're actually inhaling an aerosol, which is a certain gas. It's a vaporized mist of propylene glycol, which is a chemical, glycerin, and by the way, propylene glycol turns into propylene oxide, which is a class 2B carcinogen, which means that it can possibly cause cancer in humans. Now, some of the pods that you use when you uh, do vaping contain more nicotine than a pack of cigarettes. And if you start to experiment with nicotine before the age of 20, the risk of addictions goes way up, not just to smoking, but to other things as well. Like I said, there's no long-term studies, and it's an electronic device that has the capacity to explode. There's been people already who have died using this device. There's all sorts of different flavorings they're using. The chemicals are cytotoxic to your lung. They can create irritation in the lung, which can then lead to lung problems. There's heavy metals. It has the ability to impair DNA, and it can cause oxidation to the inside lining of your arteries, the endothelial cells. But other than that, it's perfectly healthy. Now, I have a really good video that I highly recommend you watch relating to stopping smoking too suddenly. There's some great information about it. Check it out now. I think you'll find it very interesting.